see me over here hugging Quentin from behind, people are, might get the wrong idea, but I'm just cold. <laughs> Alexa! Stop! I should just train her. I should just be able to say, Alexa, Nico's here. In the second Alexa hears anybody say the name Nico, it should say, Oh, is Nico here? Would you like me to stop the music now? I would not do that. That's stupid. Fine, I'll just change it once we're done. I don't like working with him. Not even a little bit. I want to go back to Florida. You guys here. are a bunch of dips. Snowmobiling, and my snowmobile, which is nicer than Quentin's snowmobile, it ran really good. And then I shut it off to take a leak, and then it no And then it wouldn't start. We had no spark. I can do this too, but we can't both work at the same time. I don't know why we're working on the snowmobile. I got to be honest, I'm a little confused about that. Why? Because it means you work on the snowmobile, and I stand here and look. So once again, funny. once again, like a lazy hole. It makes Quentin do all the work. I don't really like when people make me look that way. I requested a haircut from Mandy last night, so in about two and a half months we'll probably have an appointment. <laughs> all right. Just, just about the time my hair looks like Nico's. I need to get me some fiber. You get some fiber right now? This is, no, this is protein, Quentin. I'm gonna find my stool. Oh, you're not regular? No, I just got that bad back pain. I can't bend over. Quit being an asshole. I was having bad back problems that morning, man. It was hurting. This is how we test suspension, Nico. I'm dying to. <laughs> just bought my spring out. <clears throat> you better have been talking about yourself. <laughs> I don't need no bullshit from you. I'm sorry, this takes long because it's literally, it's going to hurt like hell for me to do this. It's just... You want me to just no, I... I to, once I get there... Tell me where they go? No, I don't know where they go. I'm pretty sure this one goes there. They can make this a little easier than they do. I got one more to plug in, but I got to figure out how to get it there. Oh, am I boring you? Uh-huh. Is it contagious? Yeah. <laughs> sees himself you know on the screen he's like oh that's a good idea there's an order man you didn't do it in the right order what the hell's that mean <laughs> it means you gotta start on the back plug first why are you an a-hole why you act like i'm like stupid and shit i'm just saying i had these things unplugged like 10 different times that day. well then why'd you need me to come plug them in <laughs> all right okay. i'm ready man it ain't gonna spark Don't bust it. Hey, wait. Do that again. I got a spark. Now I want to put the old coil back on. Oh, I do not want a failure up there. I'm going to be nervous the whole freaking time I'm up there. Yeah, yeah. I'm just wondering if I shouldn't replace the stator in the coil and replace the whole shit caboodle. If that thing comes off there halfway easy, and I can, I'm going to call. I'm going to call Willard real quick. You got a snowmobile expert. You like Rick on a. Uh... Or on Pawn Stars. So I got no guy, I'm gonna call him and see what he says. Alright, well it says replace it. More work for us here. But it is a heck of a lot easier here than out there. I don't know, it's still kinda of cold in here. You want me to get down there and do that? No. It's hard for me to sit back and let these young kids learn how to do shit. Slow, gentle pressure. Ready? Mm-hmm. Stop! Give me a big pry bar kiss. Why are you over there? Of course, there's just one laying over there. So why wouldn't it just be laying over there on the floor? I mean, shit, why didn't I think to look there? All right, go ahead. Look at her face right there. Look at that. That, that says it all. She's like... She's like, what the hell? It's a 
a good sign, I think. Well, the fact that it didn't, you don't have a head coming off, yes, that's a good sign. Don't, you don't want to take that all the way out. We need to go back. Okay, didn't take it all the way out. Okay, We're done. We're done. We're done. You're done. We're done. We're done. That's it. We're done. <laughs> Hey, hey, dum dum. Hi. Oh. Dum dum, dum dum, dum dum. Okay, go gentle. Don't bust my, my stuff. Get, get a good and snug. Come on, man. What? Would you get an impact? I, the freaking. I you can't are, get the damn wrench on there. You're boring me. Well, then take it off. Okay, because you you're not do. supposed to do it that way. Okay, fine. I'm not going to freaking argue with you about it. Would you hold the end of that damn ratchet? Why? You understand, if you pull on that, if you're not holding that, you don't have a center point, you're just like yanking sideways on shit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have never seen anybody run one of those. Yeah, they're going to put a four foot extension on here. I'm just going to hold back with one arm and just like go like this. Why are you taking all those out? I got to get the freaking bolt out. Pull the shaft out. I can't get that bolt in that nut in that washer. Ah! Would you get a damn impact so you, so you can actually tighten that thing up? My God. Now hold it on there nice and straight. Make sure your bolts are all in there the same amount so you're pulling even on it. I mean, do I have to tell you all this hmm? Hold that thing level and straight. Don't just laze it out. All right, you ready? Yeah. I hope it came loose. It's something. Is it loose? Something's loose, yeah. Oh man, that's not supposed to come out. Isn't that mm. supposed to have magnets in it? Oh my God, are, the mag are the magnets still in there? Is it one big man? I would say maybe one big man. <laughs> you were amazed at something. <laughs> you just whoa. I don't know, man. Could be this is this is your pickup coil magnet here. You're so weird. Okay, are you gonna be able to get that stator out, or are you gonna take that cover off like they said to? Depends on where the uh, where the whip is for it. Well, I definitely think those are the last bolts because that bracket's looking kind of loose. Oh, look! He's using two hands on the ratchet. Come on, man. Go. Do it. Why aren't you using an impact? Because it wouldn't bust him. It, it would you take that out It'll right do now. It now. It. Well, well, sh you can tell this guy's never worked <laughs> flat rate. You're working flat rate. That's why flat rate exists for mechanics. It's because it keeps mechanics from saying, No, I'm good with this little open end wrench. <laughs> Impact. Boom, you're done. And that's how y'all make mistakes. I just want to get done today, Clinton. That's we all. We will. We're not. You're, you're, you're just in and in and in and in and in. in. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Why don't you just go stuff your face with some more pizza? Okay, are you going to take that bracket off now? You got a wrench? I'm going to guess 13 millimeter. On your side? Yeah. Pretty good guess, wasn't it? I guessed the right size. He says, yeah, not bad. No, it was a damn good guess, and you don't give me not too bad. Shit. It was the right size. How can that be not too bad? I said not bad, not too bad, and not bad are two different things. So, not bad means good. This is what you're telling me. Not it's bad good. means good, yes. So, it was a good guess. Yeah, not bad. You can grab this. Shit. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? It's like you're damn some sort of dance in there now. Oh my god. <laughs> how, well, how long is it taking to move that bracket? Like, this wasn't slow motion. This was live time. <laughs> the you're, nut. Sitting kinda, you're sitting there kind of holding it. It's like, I like had to secure the, the nut. What are you doing? Do I need your step? Yeah, I, I thought we were pretty much freaking done now. I'm about to give you this part because I don't. I can get over there and figure this shit out. Bad shit's about to happen. Don't do no bad shit. And I don't want to be the cause. I don't want to, I don't want to, I want to save these parts. You might not be replacing this little bugger. You come here. He stripped it and then he gave it to me. Would you like a blanket? Yeah, I want a blanket. Here. Mm. Ass little losers. What's your problem? What are you bitching about? What screw can't you get out? It's this shit I have to put up with, man. <laughs> you said you were cold. <laughs> I know you're cold, so. <laughs> that was a joke. Dumb shit. I didn't want a blanket. The floor was cold, not the top of me. <laughs> well, you gotta be more specific. No, it's you... these two little Phillips screws. On the pickup coil. Yeah. Yeah, get me an impact screwdriver, please. 
Cassie, impact screwdriver. Where are you going? I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening. Where are you going? I don't know how she was going. She was like, I'm going, I'm going to Kmart. A blue light special, I think. I mean, I know where she was going, but she wasn't going to get what I asked for. That's all I knew. Wait, you guys are dips. Where did this come from? <laughs> An it's impact a screwdriver. If you're going to give this to me, put it down on the floor. He where said, are you going? Get me one. Okay. No. Where? It'll be over here somewhere. In a little Mac toolbox about this big. <laughs> Do you not know what an impact screwdriver is? It's a miracle we got anything done. <laughs> Can I get a hammer, please? That's just asking too much. How about a thicker blanket? Something for my toes, maybe? Where's that hammer? Where's the hammer, hammer, hammer? We had one out here. Your dad's holding it. Your dad's got it. Oh, sh So I told you you might not be replacing that. So we have to loosen that. Okay. Probably a 10 millimeter. Is it not the right size? No, it's the right size. I can go in there and get it. Why won't you let me do anything? You'll notice he did not let me work until everything went to sh**. And that way he can blame me. It's kind of like that damn plastic thing in Kendra's car. Same thing. Oh sh**, that ain't coming out here. You do it. <laughs> All right, you can get up here and unplug this one. Can you unplug that up there? Let's see how it works if, oh, you got it. All right, save that, because I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Yeah, we're taking it out. This is what Tony Stark had. Right here. What's it called? That thing? Yeah. It was the arc reactor, I think. Yeah, why did you call it that? That would have been much more effective. My arc reactor. <laughs> Talk like Sean Connery or something. Can I pull it out, please? <laughs> Let me be the one. <laughs> it ain't going to matter, though. That's the I'm problem. not going to be all like her. I'm going to be like... <laughs> Touching the, How do you like that? touching the side <laughs> with the wire. <laughs> Does that hurt? Exactly. All right, what do you want? I want you to remove that pickup coil. This is a pickup coil. This is a screw that Quentin screwed up before he called me. Bullsh**. Belt. Maybe your belt's not grabbing? No. You don't have a reverse, so it can't be going backwards. Look. <laughs> Alright, look. <laughs> we are mechanics, okay? <coughs> uh, uh, just a broad type of equipment. But we have never worked on a snowmobile, okay? When I was a kid, I might have, like, dabbled a little teeny bit or helped dad a little or something. But no, zero, and that was, this would have been in the early 80s. So we got zero, I mean zero experience. So <laughs> we had to figure this out. I mean, bottom line, we've started it. It started weird. It felt like it had timing issues. I mean, all that, I was with you on all that. But why, when you rev it up, does it want to go backwards? And Quinn's like, it can't go backwards. It don't have reverse. <laughs> that's what, that's Quinn thought. I said, dude, I watched it. <coughs> it tried to lurch backwards. There's something really weird here. That's pretty much brings you up to speed with where we're at at this moment. It looked to me like it jumped backwards, but it could be. I just thought because I didn't feel it was going anywhere. Right, if it starts, if I can't start it, then. And that's weird. It was not doing that to me before. I thought it through and I was the stator's not gonna cause that. And 
I don't see how the coil is going to cause that. The only thing that I can think of that's going to throw it off time enough to where it's going to run in reverse is the pickup coil. So we took it apart, put the old pickup coil back on it, and that's where we're at right now. That was better. Fire right out and ran like a million bucks. But everybody out there, tell me. They're like, dude, your snowmobile is the badass sound snowmobile out of everybody's. No, it was, it was. When I got on it, everybody knew I was getting on it. I think that sled's got a lot of life left in it. <laughs> that's not funny. You a-hole. That's what happened when you couldn't try driving it in reverse. You damaged my belt. Got rubber on my pulley. <coughs> but it's the mobile fixed. So I don't know where we're at right now, but I think it's the same day, isn't it? I know. Cassie and Scott are working on the canopy. No, Scott wasn't there when we were working on the snowmobile. Scott's learned how to weld aluminum. He ain't liking it none. So this is Quentin now, tearing the four-wheel apart. When do you notice the bad? Later? The rest of the frame? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it's on this video. I can't believe you did that. Come on, dude. <laughs> I you totally still, cannot. You still, you still think it's worth saving now? The plastic? Yeah. No, I don't care what you do with that plastic at this point. <laughs> exactly. I got here and, and bottom line Shane fixes a piece of shit. this was a rough night King Quad bad I mean yeah it's like keep trying keep trying my welding rods shooting through the other side of the building <laughs>